We've been hearing a lot about the extraordinary health benefits associated with pomegranates, and researchers report that pomegranates are rich in antioxidants and that eating pomegranates can reduce the risk of coronary heart disease and many kinds of cancer. Dr. Talia Emery is a physician with a practice in cosmetic dermatology here in Los Angeles. Dr. Emery, we know those nifty little phytochemicals are really good for us, but what makes pomegranates so special? Pomegranates are very rich in antioxidants. Antioxidants are terrific at fighting free radicals. Free radicals cause damage to the body, both inside the body as well as outside what you see in the skin. Mm -hmm. And eating pomegranates has been shown to be very beneficial for heart disease and um, fighting cancers, right. but also in giving us radiant skin and helping with aging of skin. Ah, so it's a beauty food. It is a beauty food. What else is really important to know about pomegranates? Well, pomegranates are high in fiber. Ah. They're high in vitamin C, niacin, potassium, which are all essential for good health. Also, pomegranate has 100 calories. It's a great food for dieters. This huge fruit 100 calories. 100 calories, very satisfying. Thin is beautiful, you know. <laughs> Thin is beautiful. Yeah. And of course, we recommend five servings of fruits and vegetables a day, and this beautiful fruit qualifies as one of those. You picked a great time to stop into the kitchen because I'm about to make my pomegranate cranberry bundt cake. I make it with pomegranate syrup. It's a thick, piquant syrup, and it's really easy to make. Two cups pomegranate juice, one cup fresh orange juice and one and a half cups unrefined sugar. Bring it to a boil, simmer it for 20 to 30 minutes. That's all there is to it. And we're gonna use this in the cake and then we're gonna drizzle it over the top afterwards. It's amazing. It comes together in two bowls. Two cups of whole wheat pastry flour. It is pastry flour, but it's whole grain. This is whole grain yellow cornmeal, a half cup. It's going to give it kind of a crust. We're just going to add a teaspoon of baking soda and a teaspoon of baking powder and a half teaspoon of sea salt. Slivered almonds. I love almonds, they're high in vitamin E, aren't they? High in vitamin E, they're a terrific uh, health food. These are dried cranberries. Cranberries also have uh, a lot of antioxidants. The thing about antioxidants that a lot of people don't understand is that they have seriously anti-aging properties, isn't that so? Absolutely, yeah. so it really helps the skin from getting oxidized. Keeps your skin radiant. Radiant, I like that. Yeah, it absolutely fights the signs of aging. Wait. I'm gonna set this aside. And can you hand that large bowl to me, please? Oh, this is about a third of a cup of prune puree. I'm gonna add the two bananas. I'm gonna mash the bananas into the prune puree, like that. Prune puree does a great job of holding up the structure of baked goods. You know, so they don't fall back on themselves. That's really what fat does. But fat does a lot of other awful things, doesn't it? Absolutely. It clogs the arteries. And it makes you fat. Well, that's the bottom line, isn't it? It's one source of calories that seamlessly goes from fat to fat. So anywhere that you can reduce or eliminate the fat in your diet, that's really a good thing. The next thing we're gonna add is organic sugar. So once you get the sugar in there, it begins to uh, cream, mm -hmm. as they say. But there won't be any cream in this cake. This is three quarters of a cup of vanilla soy milk. You wanna take that one and uh, sure, absolutely. Yeah, you help, help me out there? Yeah, Gotta put you to work. I'm gonna replace the eggs in this cake with flax seeds. Put them in this cup of my personal blender. Add three quarters of a cup of cold water and blend it together like this. We're gonna add this to the liquid ingredients. Next, we're going to add half a cup of pomegranate syrup. And when this cake bakes, mm. the aroma is intoxicating. The last ingredient, a quarter teaspoon of almond extract. Add our dry ingredients to the liquid ingredients. And you can see that it's beginning to turn into a batter. We're gonna put it in our bundt pan. I'm gonna garnish the cake with sliced almonds, just like this. We're gonna bake this at 350 for 40, 45 minutes or until a toothpick inserted comes out clean. Mm, it tastes amazing. <laughs> now it's really good. Dr. Emery, thank you so much for joining us. It was my pleasure, thanks for having me. I now have a new favorite way of getting my antioxidants in pomegranates and cake. Yeah, you can have your cake and eat it too. <laughs>